just a quick video today to remind you all that I was right. I told you all very straight out in two videos, the Lennon McCabe video, as well as Western women don't love their children, that there would be an epidemic coming of women killing their children. I noticed this was happening when I noticed the rise in MGTO. These same women who are now using <laughs> these children as money bags are now seeing the children as burden bags. There used to be a time where females would trick a man into getting her pregnant and she would use him for child support and a free ride. But now that men are opting out, going their own way, and hiding and dodging child support payments, these females are on their own now, really on their own. They're getting the equality that they've been nagging about. They're actually getting what they've been nagging about, which is actually a great thing. But sadly, these children are paying for it. Most of these women have gotten pregnant for child support, but they didn't really expect the child to become such a burden in their life. You've got to remember that the female narcissist has no ability for understanding, no ability to generate respect, and no ability to give a child attention or love. They don't have the capability of doing so. So while the child needs attention, it will do everything to get its attention. <laughs> it, the narcissist is going crazy because they're no longer getting the attention. They have to give something they cannot give. The narcissist is confronted with a bigger narcissist, basically. And as I've said in many videos before, the only way a narcissist will ever get cured or completely destroy themselves is when they come across a worse narcissist than themselves. Children are narcissistic. That's what they are. And most narcissistic people who are adult today are children inside of the adult bodies. So now they have now it's child versus child, basically. So I've seen the rise in female epidemic of murdering their children. And sadly, it's going to only get worse and worse and worse. This is why abortion came in into the first place. But after abortion came in, they tried to push laws to get it passed that after one year of the child being born and alive, the mother could still have the right to kill it. You can see where it's going. Women use children. They don't love their children. They use their children. They use children for money. They use children for status. They use children to even gain their own vulnerability status. It's just sickening what they do with the children. They do almost everything to a child except for love them. These women have no rights to be parents. Sadly, they are. But as long as men keep opting out from relationships where they can no longer be with a child and correct the child and keep the child safe, you're going to see a gigantic rise in children being killed by their mothers. So just to rub it in everybody's face, I did tell you, I didn't warn you this was coming. So this is Word on Fire. Told you all. See you later. Bye. The father of a newborn who authorities say was mutilated, killed, and cannibalized by the mother wants to see the woman executed. Scott Buchholz told the Associated Press, Adi Sanchez killed my son. She should burn in hell. Well, I I heard that he was decapitated, and I, when I heard that, I couldn't stand it. I just cried, you know? Buckle says she seemed fine just days before the slaying, even though the couple argued. But her relatives say the 33-year-old has been diagnosed with schizophrenia and postpartum psychosis. She mentioned that some, someone or something told her to do it. She was hearing voices. Um, so that leads us to believe that she was, having, she was experiencing some type of mental crisis um, when this incident happened. The baby's dismembered body was found in the family's San Antonio, Texas home Sunday. Police said Sanchez killed her nearly three-and-a-half-week-old son, mutilated the body, and then stabbed herself. There were, there were body parts missing uh, that she had ingested. Uh, she had o opened up the, the child's head. And, you know, it's, I mean, it, it's... It, it, it's, it's too heinous for even me to describe it any further than I just have. Sanchez is charged with capital murder in the death of her son. She's being held on $1 million bail. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.